All right, now we'll begin with our B section, which is the left side of cab. We're gonna begin with this light here, which is a multi-function running light, all right? It is probably most secure. Now, chip cracked or broken has three functions, which is signal light, uh, emergency light, and running light, okay? We'll check its function when we do our in cap. Now we're gonna look at our door, right? We have our mirror mount and bracket, okay? They are probably not secured, not bent, cracked, or broken, okay? Our door is probably not secured, not bent, cracked, or broken, okay? It, hold, it opens and closes properly, all right? We go on the inside of our door. We're gonna look over here. We have our door hinges, properly mount secured, not bent, cracked, or broken, and it has all its hardware, okay? Then we have our door seal. That's this piece here. It goes all the way around. That's properly mount secured, not cut, torn, or dry rotted, and there are no signs of leaks, okay? Then we have our steps. Properly mount secured, not bent, cracked, or broken. And our steps should hold my weight. All right. Inside this box, we have, this is our battery box. We have all our batteries in here. They are, pro it's all properly mount secured. The box is not chip cracked or broken. The batteries, okay, should have no excessive corrosion and all the connections should be tight. Then we're gonna to come to our def tank, which is properly mount secured. The tank is not chip cracked or broken. The, uh, the bracket is not bent cracked or broken, has all its hardware. The cap on the tank is not chip cracked or broken. It also has a rubber seal in the inside, which is not cut, torn, or dry rotted, and there are no signs of leaks. Now we'll go to our fuel tank. It's properly mount secured, not bent, cracked, or broken. There are no signs of leaks. Has metal straps that hold it in place with a rubber seal in the inside that should not be cut, torn, or dry rotted. Then we have our metal cap and chain. Our cap has a chain in the inside to keep it uh, from, uh, from losing it and keep it secure. But our cap is not bent, cracked, or broken, has a rubber seal on the inside, which should not be cut, torn, or dry rotted, and no signs of leaks. Okay? Now, we'll come to the back of our cab. The back of our cab is properly mount secured, not bent, cracked, or broken. There are no holes. Okay? And we have reflective tape that is in place. We have our working lights. Properly mounted and secured, not chip cracked or broken, clear in color, and we will check their function when we do our ink cap. All right. Then we have our catwalk and steps. Properly mount secured, not bent, cracked or broken, and it has all of its hardware. Okay. And this is our exhaust. Okay. We want to make sure that it's properly mount secured, not bent, cracked or broken. And there should be no soot trails that would indicate an exhaust leak. Okay. Now I'm going to put on here as well. This here is our drive shaft. Properly mounted and secured. Not bent, cracked, or broken. Okay. We have U-joint uh, knuckles on our drive shaft. See if I can show you one here. These are our... U joint knuckles. They should be properly greased and no debris. Okay. Now we have our frame. Right? Not bent, cracked, or broken. Okay. Then we have our cross members. Properly mount secured. Not bent, cracked, or broken. And it has all of its hardware. All right, then we have, this is a torque rod, properly mounted and secured, not bent, cracked or broken, and it has all of its 
hardware. Okay. Now we're going to come to our splash guard and bracket. Property mounted and secured, not bent, cracked, or broken. Uh, the bracket and the splash guard itself is not chip cracked or broken. And there is adequate space between the splash guard and the tire and the splash guard and the ground. Okay? Now we'll come back here and I'm going to show you our brake chamber. It's properly mounted and secured, not bent, cracked, or broken. And it's held together by the C clamp. Okay? Then we have our brake airlines. If we look here. Brake airlines. Properly mounted secured. No abrasion bubbles or cuts and no leaks. Okay? And then to continue with our brake back in here we have the brake lining and the brake drum just as I showed on the A section uh, property mount secured the drum is not bent cracked or broken with no illegal welds and the lining should have no less than a quarter inch of thickness I have separated the tractor from the trailer to give you guys a better look at the uh, suspension. And the brakes. That's your shock absorber. This is for B section. Proper mass secured, not been cracked or broken, no leaks. Airbag and bracket. Brackets properly mounted secure, not been cracked or broken. All of its hardware, airbag, no abrasion bubbles or cuts, no leaks. U bolts, not been cracked or broken, properly mounted secured, has all of its hardware. Rear leaf spring, I mean front leaf spring hanger, properly mounted secure, not been cracked or broken, all of its hardware. Then we have the brake chamber the hoses chambers properly mount secured not bad cracked or broken no leaks seat clamp is in place you have your slack adjuster purse rod properly mount secured not bad cracked or broken held together by clevis pin and cotter key Slack adjuster and push rod is at 90 degree, 90 degree angle. When engaged, when disengaged, there will be no more than one inch of pull. And there are no leaks. All right. Then we have our brake drum and brake lining. Property mount secured. My bank cracked and broken. Brake drum, no legal welds. Brake lining, no less than a quarter inch of thickness. No dirt, oil, or grease between the lining and the drum. The torque rod. Property mount secure, not bent, cracked, or broken. Has all of its hardware. Our tires. We have the uh, dual tires back here. Inner. Outer. Inner. And outer tire walls and the top of the tires they are all property mount secured no abrasion bubbles or cuts no leaks um, our top of our tires are wearing evenly and our tread depth could be no less than 230 seconds on these tires on the tractor okay and these can be recapped okay then here we have what's called our bud space right in here this is called the bud space should be free of debris or any obstructions okay now we'll come out here and look at our wheel property mount secured not bent cracked or broken no illegal welds 
we have our 10 lug nuts property mount secure not bent cracked or broken none are missing there are no signs of rust trails or shiny threads that would indicate a recently removed lug nut or a loose lug nut there are no cracks on these wheels that would indicate there was an over tightened lug nut okay and we have a dual valve stem okay our dual valve stem and cap we have one here and we want to have one inside here for the other tire they are properly mount secure not bent cracked or broken okay uh, no leaks caps are in place and through here with a tire gauge I will check to make sure that my tire is at manufacturer specification no less than 100 psi okay then I have the hub seal or axle seal properly mount secure not bent cracked or broken no leaks and it has all of its hardware okay now we're gonna come to the back of the tractor we're gonna mention that we will inspect this axle the same as we inspected this axle okay then we have our mud flap and bracket it's property mount secured the bracket is not bent cracked or broken has DOT tape my mud flap is not chip cracked or broken okay there is adequate space between my mud flap and my tires mud flap and the ground okay and if you look back here we have our tail light tail lights okay our tail lights property mount secured not chip cracked or broken red in color four functions they have running light signal light four-way flasher and brake light and embedded in our tail lights here we have our reverse lights clear in color not chip cracked or broken and we will check all these functions when we do our in-cab 